Well, credit to Stanford. First of all, thank you guys for being here. And, um, and you know, this is a phenomenal conference, and we knew exactly how aggressive uh, Stanford was going to come out. Um, and the reality is we didn't match their aggression on a consistent basis. And we didn't match the urgency of their focus. And, I, you know, we got, we got caught. And they take responsibility for that, me first and foremost. Um, give a, you know, like I said, I don't want to take anything away from Stanford. They're a really, really good team. I just wish that we had executed the game plan that I know we're capable of on a more consistent basis. And uh, ultimately, that's what I'm responsible to get us to respond and do. Coach, that was a little bit of a roller coaster game there. Um, what problem did Justin the offense did you say that you had in the second half of the I think it's a real combination with us. It's um, not getting stops and sort of, you know, not getting enough stops so that we can play to the kind of shots that we want. The reality is they wouldn't have been able to set their 2-3 zone so perfectly and neatly and cleanly if we'd gotten stops and gotten out and running and gotten out and ran. And so the reality of that, and then there's the combination of their zone. Um, in the fourth quarter, I think it was different than the first quarter. I think we were getting really good shots in the first quarter and we weren't finishing through contact and we, we have to be ready to do that. Um, this was a toughness game. and. I, I praised our team last week because I felt like we were the tougher team. And you know, I thought we proved that. In, in really critical situations, we stepped up and made the tough, gritty plays. And tonight, we didn't. And they made the tough, gritty plays. And that's what we have to take responsibility for. Um, but offensively, in the fourth quarter, I think their zone really did. Um, you know, We weren't as crisp. We had not spent a long time since somebody has owned us to that level and we weren't as crisp as we needed to be and creating easier catches through ball movement and um, you know I think that did slow us down a bit but I think it more had to do with the defensive end than the offensive end. And Kibbe and Michaela, it was really the opposite of what happened last time for Stanford. What changed the thinking is how they learned to the court? Um, just in the locker room, Coach Corey um, just emphasized to us that we have more in us and she was kind of disappointed in the way we played in the first half. And I think we knew that too. Like we gave them 27 points in the second quarter alone and that's just something that we don't pride ourselves on. We pride ourselves on defense and rebounding and we just didn't execute that at all. Like yeah. Going into the third quarter, it's the rest of the players. Yeah, and that's the thing. When we're playing good defense, and it's a good offense and the fact that we just had those dips and it wasn't really good for us because we didn't really have a rhythm on offense, so we just have to change our defense. We can't have those dips that we had today. So. 19 turnovers forced. Is what was, what was working? <clears throat> well, I think, you know, we got more shots on the goal than they did. We got, uh, we shot eight more free throws. Um, you know, I think the reality was, and that's all, that's winning the turnover battle and the rebound battle. They got a couple more rebounds, but we said it was a possessions game, and I really thought that if we got significantly more shots on goal than they did, that we would win, and we didn't. And we got to be able to be more crisp. Um, you know, I I think the biggest thing for us was that we started to make plays, and it wasn't. I trust these guys' hearts so much. I trust this team so much. But our actions, we started to make plays individually. We wanted to change it on our own. And the reality against a team like Stanford is you can't change it on your own. You gotta make aggressive plays together. And we did not We did that somewhat on defense. When we were able to turn them over, that was huge. They, they really pride themselves on reversing the basketball, creating reversals, and getting elbow entries. And we did a much better job taking those things away and taking away the backdoor cuts the second half. I think we gave up only one backdoor cut the entire second half. And I think that that was really good. That's how we got those turnovers going, and that's what fed our offense. Um, but I think what, when, you know, for us to not win a game where we get that many more shots on the goal, um, that goes to show that we were doing things individually, and so that everything was harder, as opposed to doing really good teamwork plays together, which created an easier shot maybe for a teammate through a great screen, a penetration, and a kick. All of those things, I think that's why our shooting percentage went down, because we got enough shots. Um, we didn't get the right kind of shots that we can get in rhythm and shoot at a higher percentage. You got within one, but how back-breaking or mental being deflating was that three-pointer to put it back up for? Well, especially right, it was late in the shot clock, and you know we had played pretty good defense for a long period of time. And, you know, those are really tough plays. And give credit to 
um, you know, to uh, Williams, um, you know, so it was a big shot. And yeah, I think that was a real backbreaker. I think we we lost a little uh, momentum at that point, and we sort of never got our mojo back. resources um, and to raise money and 
uh, you know, as much as I'm bummed about the game, I'm proud, very, very proud about the meaning and hope and inspiration we were able to give to some people today. Any more questions? Again, I appreciate y'all being here. Thanks. Thanks.